As a special education math teacher, Lindsay Sheeman knows her way around numbers. That's why looking through her student loan payments, she says it just doesn't add up. She's saddled with $120,000 in debt. Fifty grand of that was through NJ Class, privately held loans with the NJ Higher Education Student Assistance Authority. Since then, I've been paying them since I graduated in 2009, and I think right now it's at 42000 So I've paid about $22,000 and they've only gone down about $8,000. Sheeman is one of the 44 million Americans who owe a total of $1.4 trillion in student loan debt. She also holds federal and Sally May loans. And as she notes, most of her payments go to interest, not the principal. That's because private lenders can lock you in at a higher fixed rate. This is just within the last two years. It's only gone down about $1,500, and I've paid $360 a month for two years. I feel like I'm basically in a hole for um, much of the rest of my life just because of the interest. Jack Gattinella has over $100,000 in student loans from Nelnet and Sally May. A report by the Institute for College Access and Success shows New Jersey students hold the country's 11th highest amount in student debt. To be honest, I. I it gets really so confusing trying to uh, figure everything out as far as how to pay back the lenders. That tangled bureaucratic web is in the spotlight right now. It recently led to a blunder in the loan industry. A conglomeration of 15 trusts holding 800,000 private student loans trying to sue debt holders for defaulting on payments. What happened was all the original paperwork that created those loans in the first place got lost or misplaced or was fraudulently done one way or the other. And so now that they sue uh, the graduates to, uh, who don't pay their loans, they say, well, pro prove that I actually own it, owe it, and uh, they can't do it because they don't have the original paperwork. Right now, $5 billion in those loans are being disputed and could be wiped away. Personal finance experts recommend refinancing and consolidating loans where possible. You have to be very, very careful when you're not using a government-backed loan because these private loan companies tend to not be so scrupulous um, in their practices. So you have to be very, very careful. Because my credit is so good, I, am, I could probably get a mortgage at a really low rate. I could probably get a car loan at a really good rate. But because of these high payments every month, I have to lease a car. I can't buy a car. I have to rent, I can't buy a house because what it might seem like, it looks like I can afford with my good credit and the money that I make, the amount of month, money each month that I pay out the student loans is way more than I make. Because unlike most products, these private loans didn't come with a buyer beware. In Lawrenceville, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.